are about to head from Volvo headquarters to our Volvo customer center. I'm going to go ahead and set my Volvo Dynamic Steering personal settings because I like them to be a bit more firm than the defaults. And then you're also going to see the backup camera activate so I can back up out of this parking lot. got my adaptive cruise control set to 65 miles per hour so as this car gets in front of me you can see that I can see the speed of that car and its distance and because that car is going the same speed as I am the truck didn't slow down at all. I didn't get any alerts or anything because there was no risk of collision. Now this car is going a little bit slower than me so the truck is going to slow down. I'm gonna go ahead and go around him the truck speeds back up. I mean, honestly, I wish my car had this. To be able to see how fast the car in front of you is going is really helpful. Since this truck is equipped with our camera monitor system with the down view camera, anytime I turn on my right blinker, I'm gonna get a nice down view from that camera here on my infotainment screen, since that is really your most blind spot, what is directly next to the truck. Let's do this better this time. Wow. Hi, I'm Maddie Sullivan. And I'm Bobby Thompson. We are product marketing managers at Volvo Trucks here at the Customer Center in Dublin, Virginia. And today we're here to talk about the all new Volvo VNL. Safety is very hard to put a value or a price behind it, but yet here at Volvo, we've done that. Can you walk me through a little bit of the all new VNL value before we dive into the features? Yes, I mean, obviously everybody values, you know, their own uh, safety on the road and the safety of those around them. And it can be hard to quantify what that really means um, at the end of the day. But with the all new VNL and our Volvo Active Safety platform, we can help mitigate the severity of accidents, hopefully reduce the number of accidents on the road, um, and really save our customers up to $5,400 per truck per year by avoiding those accidents. Those are some pretty big numbers and these are some really great features. And our truck now sees farther. Yep. Added pedestrian detection. Yep. What do you say we jump in the truck and show us a little bit? Absolutely, let's go. All right, so one thing that's new on our trucks is pedestrian detection, and that's both for forward and on blind spot, both driver and passenger side. So as Bobby walks up to get in his car over here, we're gonna see him on the CMS display. It's gonna show you that you've got a pedestrian on. If I were to turn on my blinker while he's off there walking, then it's gonna give me an alert. Another great benefit of CMS is that it tracks your trailer around turns, so you can always see where it ends. So we've passed the 45 mile per hour sign. You can see that there's a 45 mile per hour here on my DID, and your speed sign's always gonna be there first, and then you're gonna have these secondary signs available to you as they come by. All right, so you hear that? We've caught the 50 mile per hour sign, and now we see the deer crossing sign, and it too pops up in our DID. Now that I'm going 40 miles per hour, I can see my lane lines. If I drift over, you see it turns yellow, and the wheel turns all by itself to get me back over into the lane. If I choose to just ignore it and go over it, then I'll get an auto alert from the speaker on that side of the truck. When it comes to our forward collision mitigation technology, the new Volvo Active Safety Platform does a really great job balancing safety without over alerting the drivers. There are four stages the truck goes through when there's a risk of collision. First, there's a pre-warning, which is just this solid red light that you see on the windshield. Uh, you'll see this at about one and a half second following distance to the vehicle in front of you. If that distance gets shorter, then the red light will flash and there will be an audible alert. If the driver still doesn't act, then the truck will start pre-braking at a partial brake capacity. And finally, if needed, the truck will request full braking capacity to stop the truck before collision if possible. So, so far today, all the features we've talked about are active safety, right? Trying to avoid accidents when possible. But while we're in the cab, I wanna go ahead and point out one of our new passive safety features that's also an industry first 
if the truck is in a forward collision or a rollover, the truck will automatically place a two-way call to 911 sharing the truck's location and giving the driver the ability to communicate with 911 services. If the driver is having a medical emergency or maybe they're involved in an accident that's not so bad for the truck, but they want to make sure help gets there quickly, you can spec this manual SOS button and that gives drivers the ability to initiate that call with 911 services. So you can see that I've come to a stop, but I'm still in drive, still got my seatbelt on and I've not applied the brake. If I take my foot off the brake, I'm in auto hold, so I still don't move. But then if I take off my seatbelt, park brake, automatically applies. If I put my seatbelt back on, go back from neutral into drive, brake automatically turns off, and I can go ahead and pull forward. All of Volvo's safety technology is focused towards our vision of zero accidents, but until we get there, we have to be ready for every what if. The second biggest chunk of trucking accidents are actually side collisions, and that's why the all-new VNL has so many new features to support the driver for when the worst does happen. We're the only OEM to have an all-high-strength steel cab, and we even have an industry-first and ultra-high-strength steel cab, and it's located above both the passenger and the driver's side door. We also put all of our cabs through the Swedish Impact Test. So Bobby, if you'd go ahead and lead us through what those steps are. Yeah, absolutely. You guys come on over here with me. So. The A pillar and the B pillar takes a lot of abuse should you be in an accident. So it's very important that during these impact tests, we really understand what's going on. So let's talk a little bit about this from the inside. All right, so it's all about survivable space. The survivable space inside of Volvo Cab is to the 95th percentile driver, which is roughly a six foot three, 210 pound male driver. Now, that really makes a bubble around that driver. With a Swedish cab impact test, it has to survive three different types of impact. Remember first we talked about the A-pillar. So we have 1,500 kilograms, which is roughly 3,300 pounds, slamming down on the A-pillars and the doors cannot come open during these tests. Next is a simulated rollover for the roof. So we simulate the truck being rolled over in an accident. And then the last, here on our rear wall is a rear impact. After all three of these tests are performed, the doors still have to open with just a pull. Quite an amazing feat taking care of that driver's compartment. And Maddie, isn't there another industry first here? Yeah, so just as important as that survivable space is keeping the occupants safe when the rollover happens. So that's why in another industry first, Volvo is the only OEM to offer a completely integrated curtain airbag on both the passenger and the driver's side. So now in the event of a rollover, these will automatically deploy, really helping to keep the occupants safe, both from the glass in each door and then anything that could come protruding in during the accident. Drivers face so many challenges on the road today. That's why Volvo is committed to not only active, but passive safety as well. Until we reach the zero accidents, we're always on your side, staying safe right with you.